What's up, GLM tribe? This is Mike taking advantage of 50 degree weather today. The other night we experienced a cold snap, but I was nice and warm and cozy between the little buddy heater and my sleeping bag. This sleeping bag here is the best $20 purchase I made on Marketplace. Now, when I woke up, I did have condensation, but also the development of ice all along the bare metal inside. It doesn't mean I have bad insulation in here. If anything, it's the opposite. Air just cannot get out to ventilate. When the heater is on, of course, I open this door just slightly to allow ventilation so I don't have a buildup of carbon monoxide. Never will I run a heater while I'm asleep. But I have found in my research that ventilation is the most important thing you can do to dry up your rig and prevent the development of mold. So today I'm taking a break from the cold weather to open up everything and let it breathe. There are a few devices out there that I can purchase on Amazon that will dehumidify the air and that will also help so I'm looking into that. The other thing I have discovered is that right beside me is a metal box. As you may know this was put in here so I had extra storage for items that I really don't necessarily need to get to. Things like tools and fluids for the truck, my film photography development kit, extra water, canned foods, and my dirty laundry bag. Unfortunately, I have discovered that this metal storage container is leaching off a lot of the heat that I'm trying to generate to stay warm. The whole thing, unfortunately, is bolted on bare metal and is acting like a heat sink. So this needs to come out. I know that I have plenty of room in the cab behind the seats to put my vehicle fluids, tools, and extraction uh, ramps. The water jug can come into here and all the extra miscellaneous stuff, I'll just figure out what to do. I might end up having to build a bigger box to accommodate everything, but ultimately it, I kind of win out because this truck with this box and everything that is stored within it leans a little towards the driver's side. I know currently I'm a bigger guy, but not enough to cause it to lean that much. So within the next couple of days, I'm going to pull everything out, organize it, fill as much of the cab with stuff as I can and figure out what to do with the rest. Well, the box is out, so now I've got to work on a solution for all the stuff that it was containing. <laughs> 